enjoyed John. Uh, I thought that it had some great symbolism in there, uh, and the transition shots were beautiful. Just seeing this man go through his life and the ups and downs, um, really heart felt heartfelt. Um, it was beautifully shot, and editing and cinematography went seamlessly together. It was really beautiful. Uh, you could really feel this painful nostalgia that this man is going through, thinking back through his life and where it has gone from there. Um, I like that it had these foreshadowing shots in the beginning that don't really make sense until you reach the end and you see them again. Um, I thought that was a really interesting tactic that they, that they used to really hit that emotional note. Um, yeah, so at the end, I mean, the acting uh, gets credit for this as well, but just being able to feel John's pain through the scene, through the screen, watching this, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great at having those emotional moments and the, while also adding in this fantastical element as well. And the end was very interesting. It almost felt like a reincarnation at the end. I wasn't quite sure, but I thought if so, that that's also a really cool touch there. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was cool. This is a sad story, but I like all the allegories within it. The main one is that music can create life. Music can be the beginning and ending, because it sh and this film very much shows through the sound and through music that it can fuel emotions. And that it can very much be the beginning and ends to life. This film also showed how alcoholism can harm, can physically harm and destroy a family. I'm assuming this guy ended up at the beach and was reborn again, and hopefully next time his life will be a little bit better. At the be based on that's based on the ending. Um, but it did tell a f very sad story where you go from the beginning to the end of one life to beginning another. And through doing that through music gave the filmmakers a chance to explore sound design and to show how intense something can be with very little dialogue. And they succeeded at it. Hey, I'm commenting on the short film, John. Um, I thought that this was a really inventive and cleverly done piece. Um, it really put me in mind of uh, the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Um, I read it as, you know, a, a guy um, who, you know, left impulsively, ended up dying, and is now uh, being reborn as like a new life. Um, so uh, hopefully that's what I was supposed to get out of it. Um, I I think this is just really working on a lot of levels. Um, I like the way that we're kind of just, uh, you know, base, essentially seeing his life flash before his eyes as he kind of accepts um, what's like the reality of his situation. Um, I think that uh, I think that all of the scenes from his life feel really believable and ring true and. You know, it, it's it's a it's like a recognizable story. Um, I think that uh, uh, you know it's firing on all cylinders from an acting standpoint. Um, I love the fact that you did this with as little dialogue as you did. I think that um, it's a piece where the images are really speaking for themselves and the actions are really speaking for themselves. And I think that that is uh, a huge part of what's making it feel so successful for me. Uh, really, really nice work with this. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Well done. I loved the role that the music played and the, the visuals and editing within John. I think it did a great job of capturing and building up a sense of emotion um, and making it really evocative. And I think the emotional buildup from the song along with the characters' snapshots of their lives and everything um, as it unfolded was really great in terms of how they how they came together within the short film um really cool john was very interesting um i could be wrong but it, it definitely felt like there was a lot of symbolism on life and the afterlife um 
I it felt like we throughout this short we're going through John's final days um, I believe when he drove off at the end he had gotten into an accident and the piano room and this field he wake this field he wakes up in are essentially his afterlife and the song he plays is essentially his swan song his final song um before he gets reincarnated at the end um could be wrong but that's that's what i took from the film and it was very it was very interesting seeing him go through his life because i feel like in those final moments that was essentially his regret his regret of his mistrust his regret of what he did to his son and this reincarnation is his chance to start anew um it was it was very interesting and i had a lot of fun john well this is a breathtaking film very emotional and a good story although so sad um, the chopin soundtrack from beginning to end being used is so well suited for this story I like how it's told a lot with the action, little dialogue, uh, the cinematography is great. These desert scenes are just so engaging and I liked the uh, story or the goal of needing to reach the kite. His son's kite, the father grasps it in the end and then we know, I think, from there that he is on his way to his heavenly dimension. And when it ends with him playing in a church, um, the ending is perfect. Uh, just so nicely done. John, <clears throat> John, um, I absolutely loved what they did with this. I loved how they used the sound in the song to really infuse his character in the beginning and really show you what a like happy like man he was and his playing and then you know finding his wife and then finding out they're pregnant and you, they really did spend time kind of infusing the idea of like his personality and who he really was in the very beginning and then you kind of just see just how far he falls and how far he gets away from that as it goes on and then you hit this one point and there's an absolute lack of music and you really feel it you really feel that kind of disconnect you really feel that lack that absence because they did such a good job of infusing it in the beginning that once it's kind of all turned on its head and you're seeing just how far he's falling and just how far away from that kind of initial, you know, happy person um, he was that he's getting now, there's just like an absolute absence of music and it makes such a profound statement and I really, really loved how they were able to do that.